Hello everybody, hello my gearhead friends. Today I have a very special video for you. I'm gonna review this book, the complete book of classic Volkswagens. So if you are a Volkswagen lover, stay here. I'm gonna talk about my impressions on this book and also the lowlights and the highlights. Let's go. Hello my friends, Eduardo speaking here, welcome aboard! If you are new on this channel, please subscribe now, that will help us a lot on having new videos about these book reviews, right? Today we are going to talk about this book, The Complete Book of Classic Volkswagens by John Gunnell. It was published by Mother Books in 2017, and it's a very nice book because it uh, tells the story of Volkswagens across the time. Uh, it started uh, with the first model uh, released by Volkswagen, which is the Beetle. But it also tells the story of other models uh, from, the, from Volkswagen along the years. The book is divided in 10 chapters, uh, which it, seven of them are dedicated to the Beetle. So I would say 70% of the book is talking about the Beetle's story. Of course, we have other models being mentioned by the author uh, on this book, but the most part of the details uh, are related to the Beetle. This is nice because you cannot tell the Volkswagen story without talking about the Beatles' story. The author of this book does not use a, a so technical language, so if you are not a mechanic, for example, you can enjoy the story, you can enjoy the book in the same way. Well, the book does not follow a kind of sequential timeline, right? It talks about model by model, and it talks about the timeline of each particular model. So that's something nice to see. Uh, because you can go into the details and the, the author do, does that in a very nice way. The author tries to tell a story and then link that story to some curious or sometimes some funny facts about each one of those models. Another thing that I like on this book is the number of pictures it has. There are around 500 pictures on the book. Some of them are colored, some of them are black and white, but the quality itself is very high. So you can have not only a good text and a good story, but also good pictures to see. So now let's talk about the highlights and the low lights on this book. The first highlight I have is related to the text. The author, John Gano, was very competent on taking the attention from the readers to the content mentioned on the book. It's a really nice book to read. It's not something boring. And if you're considering the size of this book, this is particularly important for the people which are trying to understand more about Volkswagen. If you are not familiar with John Gano, uh, this guy has written many different books about other different cars and other different car brands. So it's a very experienced author. Yeah, I know that the reviewers usually do not mention that very often, but this book has a very good paper quality. I mean, you look at the pages, you can see that they are not fragile. I mean, you can see that they will last for a lot of time, right? So this is very important when you are buying a book at this size and for this price. The other highlight I have uh, is related to the technical information available at the end of each one of the chapters. Uh, that kind of information is very useful, especially if you are trying to buy a classic Volkswagen or more than that, if you are trying to restore a classic Volkswagen. So the information available there will help you on buying the right car and choosing the right parts. The first thing I didn't like that much is that, you know, if you are a book that intends to be a coffee table book, and really it is, it is a very nice reference, I mean, you should not be that big. And not only big, this book is heavy, right? So if you are looking for something uh, easy to carry, easy to put in your backpack or something like that. This is definitely not the best example. Another problem I see in this book is related to the cover. The question here is that this book has a dust jacket. And it's okay to have a dust jacket because a lot of books have. But this specifically is a problem because if you look carefully, you will notice that the art from the this jacket is not replicated on the main cover. So if for some reason you lose the dust jacket, you not have ways to easily identify the book 
by the cover. Because you know that the dust jacket does not last the same time a cover does, right? So pay attention to that. And the last low light I have to share with you is related to the content itself. It's supposed to be the complete book of classic Volkswagens, right? It says Beatles, microbuses, tanks, Cameron gears, and more. But what more? To be very honest, I think the title here should be the complete book of classic Volkswagens in United States, because there are a lot of other models that are not mentioned here. Let me give you an example. I am a Brazilian guy, and you know that there are a lot of models that were produced in Brazil and only in Brazil, but they are very important for the story of this brand, right? For example, the Volkswagen Brasilia, uh, the Volkswagen SP2, the Carmen Ghia TC, just to mention three of them. I mean, if you are saying that you are a complete book of something, you should not miss any part of the story. This book only concentrates the models that were produced in the United States or which were exported to the United States in the beginning of the Volkswagen story. And this is something I really miss on this book. Okay, but is that a kind of book that deserves to be in your library? I would say yes, although it's a little bit heavy and big, and there are some other missing models that are not mentioned here. But overall, it's a really good coffee table book that could be used for a reference or for people which are interested on restoring uh, some classic Volkswagens or to buy a classic Volkswagen. This book will help you a lot. So yeah, you can buy it, right? It, it, it worth the, the price for sure. Okay, my friends, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that now you have enough information to take your decision to buy or not to buy this book, the complete book of classic Volkswagens. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you want to see other books to be reviewed by us, just let me know in the comments. Okay, that's it. See you on the next video.